So it's round about that time of year when people start speculating on the next Call of Duty title, in this case by Sledgehammer Games, what it's going to be, what it will contain, what setting we'll be getting, will it be boots on the ground, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a few tweets from Sledgehammer Games and Glenn Scottfield that could indicate a few small answers to give us an insight on what we can expect the next Call of Duty to be later on this year. Now, first of all, we're going to be taking a look at something that quite a lot of YouTubers have covered, but they've not really picked up on the massive hint that Sledgehammer Games have thrown out there with their New Year's tweet. So let's take a look at it. You guys seen it on screen right now. It says it's officially 2017. Some call it the Zodiac Year of the Hammer. Have a safe and fun New Year's, everyone. Hashtag Sledgehammer Games Holidays. Now, within the tweet, we get to see a clock which is counting up to 2017. A lot of people have said, well, the numbers just above that is 1906. Well, that is just because they're the next numbers in order on the dials itself. So there is definitely no hints there. We won't be getting uh, a Call of Duty title based in 1906, just presuming of this particular tweet. But instead, let's take a look at the tweet itself. Let's take a look at the text because this is something that no one has picked up on as of yet and I really do believe that this is something that we need to look into because well it could indicate the setting of the next Call of Duty title and the particular part we'll be looking at is the some call it the Zodiac Year of the Hammer that is the part we're going to be looking at because well it's just completely not needed it's a it's a line that just doesn't need to be within this tweet apart from the fact it could be hinting at the fact that 2017 is actually the year of the rooster it's nothing to do with a hammer there is no reason why they would tweet this out because it just doesn't make sense but the year of the rooster is 2017 and as well as this the year of the rooster was also 1945 which was at the end of world war ii now of course this just could be a coincidence it's something that they could have just thrown in there just as a little way to fill up the tweets for example or just to show people that it will be their time this year we know that it's going to be their time because we know they will be releasing a call of duty title this year but just the fact that they've tweeted out something so random about the zodiac year to me, it just doesn't make sense. 2017 is the year of the rooster, and it was also the year of 1945. 1945, should I say, was the year of the rooster. Now, maybe this is just a coincidence. Maybe I'm just going out there on a leg, entirely getting a bit too much into this. However, I was taking a look at both Glenn Schofield's and Michael Condre's tweets to see if there was any hints about this year's Call of Duty title. We know with Infinity Ward, with all the people associated with Infinity Award. There was tweeting out a lot of space related things and well, haul and behold, we got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So I was thinking maybe there's going to be something within these tweets that could indicate the next Call of Duty title. Of course, there was a lot of tweets about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, a lot of futuristic stuff because they wanted to prove to people that moving forward in the future, a lot of the things within Advanced Warfare is actually coming to real life so there was a lot of tweets about that of course on glenn schofield's twitter there was a lot of his art very good art by the way but one tweet in particular got me very interested and it's this one that you guys are seeing on screen right now from the 20th of april 2015 and it reads me and michael contra live in berlin now of course they don't live in berlin i believe they live in california near the sledgehammer studios but I, I wanted to look at this image, I wanted to see where it, precisely where they were because it could indicate they was doing some game research or some research into, uh, you know, maybe the history of the location, the history of what went on in World War II, for example, and I found something pretty interesting. So towards the back of the left corner we can see a bridge there i did a bit of research trying to find this bridge in berlin and it's the oberbauer bridge which is in berlin and surprisingly enough in 1945 this played a massive significance 
in the Battle of Berlin in World War II. In fact, German forces in April 1945 blew up the middle section of this particular bridge in an attempt to stop the Red Army from crossing it and of course trying to prevent them for further advancement into Berlin. Now, this bridge does sit over the River Spree. This River Spree is a massive river. In fact, it was used as a part of the German defences because it was just va so vast and wide open that they could often put fortified machine guns and stuff like that on the banks and any attempt to cross the river well they would be gunned down and actually killed and overall I just think that Michael Condre and Gwen Schofield was at this location to do as much research as possible maybe they had a design team that was taking photographs we know from advanced warfare with the Golden Great Gate Bridge that they like to putting uh, as much as the real life locations as possible and if they are doing a World War II shooter maybe towards the end of World War II then this is an ideal location for a level or two in this game. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Maybe this is just completely out there speculation, but I think at this particular moment in time, this is the best evidence we do have. Of course, they have been tweeting out a lot about futuristic stuff, but we know that's from Advanced Warfare. And as well as this, April 2015, when they did tweet out that they was in Berlin, this would have been the time where they would have been researching the game, where they would have been finding locations for levels and stuff like that, and the design teams would have been taking photographs, etc, etc. So, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. I belong to the station. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.